Hello Performance Ninjas and welcome to the data packing lab assignment. Today we will practice reducing the size of your data structures and making them more compact. When you make your data more compact, the less number of bytes you need to transfer from the main memory and back. The smaller your data is, the fewer cache lines need to be allocated to store your data, which reduces the pressure on the CPU caches. So packing your data improves the utilization of memory hierarchy and will likely result in performance speedup. Okay, so the first technique is to remove the unused bytes from your data structures. And suppose we have a C struct called S, which has a boolean, an integer and a short fields. Every object of struct S will occupy 12 bytes. It happens because compiler inserts some unused bytes called pads to allow efficient accesses to the members of struct S. Compiler does so because otherwise, let's say if there were no padding between member B and member I, we would need to do some additional bit manipulation like shifts to get the value of I. Well, you can notice that there is a fair amount of memory that is simply wasted for no good reason. By rearranging the fields of struct S, we could eliminate the need for compiler to pad our data structure and insert those unused bytes. And so after our change, the size of the struct was reduced by 4 bytes and now it's only 8 bytes instead of 12. The simple rule here is to start with the types that require more space, say int64 and double, then int32 and float, and so on. Okay, so that was padding. The second popular technique to pack your data is using bit fields. Consider the following struct S, where we have three 4 byte integers, which give us the total 12 bytes of storage. Now, if we know that the range of possible values for members of struct S is small, we can effectively reduce the amount of memory needed to store them. For example, we know that element A has possible values from 0 to 10, while B and C take values from 0 to 3. So A actually doesn't need all 4 bytes of storage, it only needs 4 bits. Similarly, B and C can be encoded only with using 2 bits of storage instead of 4 bytes. We can express our intent to pack the members of struct S by using bit fields as shown on the screen and this will make objects of struct S to occupy only a single byte of memory. We cannot use bit fields to represent floating point values but we can reduce the required memory space by sacrificing precision. In other words, if we don't need very accurate results for our floating point calculations, we can use float for example instead of double and it will save us 4 bytes. By the way, unions can also be used to save some space by letting multiple members of an object to share the same memory, but we do not consider it in this lab assignment. Now I invite you to start working on the code of this lab assignment. 